What's up YouTube? So this is part two of my cicada video. In the last video we had gel of the pupa that uh, it molted from. And uh, this is what it looks like after it's molted. These are the noisemakers. These are the ones you hear all night, half the day. And they don't shut up at all. Now they make their sound by vibrating these plates right here. Together. And that's how they they find a date or a girlfriend. Ones who are usually making the uh, noise are the males, and I'm sure any woman will agree that the males are the noisy ones. You will not hear any arguments from that. This is what they look like. Uh, again, they've got little pincher legs to uh, grab onto limbs. There's their mouth that they kind of use like a straw to reach in and uh, drink the sap from trees. Their legs are got a little bit more hooks on them than in the uh, larva stage because they're climbing instead of just burrowing. Nice wings and nice wing design. If you didn't watch the last video, just a little background on these. They start off as like a little uh, worm type thing, a little beetle almost. And this one is, yeah, this one is considered a black one, black body right here. We have some that are green. We have some that are almost camouflaged. This one's almost camouflaged, but this is a black body one. So this one only comes out of the ground on average every uh, every 13 to 17 years. The green ones come out every, uh, just about every year, but they stay underground for five years with their annual. These come out like big flocks. And uh, they stay in this little uh, beetle underground, and they use the same same type of mouth that's on here to uh, drink the uh, nutrients from plant roots. It's almost like a uh, hypodermic needle almost. And uh, like a straw, dark point, hypodermic needle. And uh, they drink the roots up, the nutrients from, uh, from plants, garden vegetables, you know, whatever. And then they'll come out, they'll climb up trees and uh, hold to this. And then they live uh, three to four weeks on average. Age. They eight to later eggs on the tree. Eggs hatch, fall to the ground, cycle starts all over again. Keep thinking it's closer than what it is. There's a really narrow thing here on this microscope. And I have another microscope that I can hook up that you can see like cells and stuff. But uh, that's not really as amusing to me. Let me lower this down, see if we can get a little closer to this thing. That's not as amusing to me. Cells are, you know, they're cool and all, but I like looking at the stuff you see every day. And like these, you can see these every day. And there's the hooks on its feet climbing. See if I can get a picture of those. Really get my, or my tweezers under there, but. Yeah, and there's its mouth. Hooks. His mouth, every time I see him, their mouth reminds me of almost like a gas mask. It's got those ribs on them. Right in here. This one's pretty well stuck in this position. Back of his head. And this its head doesn't really articulate too much, but it's uh its eyes do a little bit. But there's those plates that they shake together. Uh make all the sound with. Let's 
is by vibrating them almost like a rattlesnake does you know they got plates in their tails and i'll have one of those on videos too for long but um they vibrate their their ribs right here and it makes that that annoying sound here all all summer ring nice clear waves kind of reminds me of a dragonfly the way the wave And there goes my phone. Overlook it. I do dispatch for medical transportation. My phone never shut. Day and night, it's even ringing. But, uh, yeah, that's what they look like. I'm amused. I hope y'all enjoying. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It does help me out. And uh, if anything you want to see, at least leave a comment in the description or in the, leave it in the comments. Y'all have a good one.